Hi everybody, it's Janet and welcome to my channel. I'm back after a couple weeks of absences for Sunday Craft Talking. I uh, had mentioned before that I was heading off to North Dakota for my mother-in-law's funeral, which we did uh, do that. Everything worked out well. Everybody got there and back safely. And I uh, thank you everybody for their kind wishes. Uh, all the messages I got on my video uh, about that and wishing me well and my husband well. It's a tough time when you lose a parent, uh, but uh, we know that she's so much better off now in her new home than she was here on Earth. So we try to remember that as much as we can. Uh, also, after I got back from North Dakota, we were only home a few days and then we headed off to Charleston, South Carolina, which is about a three hour drive from here. We had months ago rented a house uh, near the old city in Charleston and we debated whether to go since it, we had already been gone a week uh, but we went ahead anyway and I'm glad we did the weather was fabulous um, the city is so much fun it was a really needed break after all the heaviness of the of the last couple weeks leading up to our trip and going uh, to the funeral and all of that so it worked out well it was very nice I actually got a sunburn which is not a good thing but that tells you it was really really nice that weekend so I'm back finally again as I mentioned for Sunday craft talking I got a bunch of stuff to show you before I do that though I just want to mention that you can definitely participate with me uh, I want to give a shout out to Rhonda's got a project she did a little video last Sunday it's so good to see what she does if you haven't been there please do so there's a link in my video description and think about participating with me just put pound sun craft talk in the video description in the uh, title in the um, tags or something like that so that when i search for you i can find you if i've missed you please don't get mad just let me know and i'll be sure to include you next week it's getting kind of weird when I search I'm coming up with a lot of other stuff besides Sunday craft talking so I'm a little bit unsure if people are actually participating if they haven't put it in the video description title somewhere so anyway again just let me know if you have and I've not mentioned you okay so uh, let me get started by giving you a tour of some goodies while I was gone some things came in and I thought I would share them with you Quite a bit of what I have today is art impressions because I've been working on art impressions a lot. We got a new release and uh, this past week I made eight cards with brand new stamp sets and dies for them. It's so much fun but it's a lot of work when the, uh, when the new releases come out. But I did manage to get some other cards done too and I'm going to show you those. But first let's take a look at some of the uh, purchases I've gotten. I thought I would start with the um, picket fence order that I got. Uh, they had some cute Easter stuff come out a few weeks ago, so I had gone ahead and ordered that. First, I'm going to show you this uh, sprinkle set. It's called the Bunny Express. If I can get it open. I love their containers. I've never gotten anything from picket fence before as far as their sprinkles although they always have great mixes but i finally decided to try one i love this it's got uh, little bunnies in it little chicks in it there's little very light lavender sequins orange sequins there's little clay pieces of chicks and carrots and it, and then we've got the kind of like looking like candy sprinkles a light green and a dark green sprinkle so really fun and i love the container it's awesome I'll be getting more of those, I think. Then I've got a few stamp sets. First of all, they sent a little free gift, and it's just a small area stamp. Let's see it. I think it's four by four. So I said small, but it's actually not that small. And I love the pattern there. Then, and I apologize for the glare. I think you're probably picking up some glare in the camera, I'm trying to hold it so it isn't too bad. This one is so cute. It's got a little girl holding her rabbit who's holding an egg Let's see if I can push this down a little so you can see it better maybe and it says bunny kisses Easter wishes follow that bunny he has chocolate that's pretty funny right 
and the egg is for you. Happy Easter. I thought that would be a great uh, stamp for coloring. Then we've got kind of more of an abstract look here. This is a much larger set and it has a little bit of humor in it as well. But I love this grass with the with the eggs in it. That was the main reason I got it. But they had some cute samples using the bunny bunny ears peeking out like behind the grass and also as uh, the main focal point in a card with the bunny ears coming in from the sides. So I'm going to try some of that. But this one says follow the bunny. He has chocolate. Or yeah, he has chocolate. Keep calm and hippity hoppity on and let the hunt begin. Then I've got a brand new stencil. I thought it was very pretty too and it has not only the center of it cut out but it also includes the center piece so if you just wanted to do the frame and not color the inside it gives you that option I thought that was a great idea this one is called framed leaves a2 stencil it's a good look at on the back of it and it is an a2 size stencil which is also very nice this one I forgot to mention is hippity hoppity to all this one again is called Bunny Deer. I don't think I mentioned that one either. And this one is Rainbow Collage. Makes perfect sense. So that's fun. So I wanted to show you the stamps I got for the design team uh, at Art Impressions. And so I got some fun ones this month. I had a little extra money to spend because I had done some additional work for them. Um, we had a couple designers had to drop out, so the rest of us had, had to kind of pick up for them. And so um, they gave us just a little bit more money to spend this month because of, of that. Uh, I picked up some posts that wouldn't normally be mine. So anyway, uh, here we go. And I've got one card also with us because I've already used uh, one of the sets to make a card. So um, this is the first one. I love the ladies here. It says, we may not have it all together, but together we have it all. And the other one says, we're still hot, only now it comes in flashes. So funny. And then say, cheesecake. Yeah, that's me. Um, but I have three other close friends. So I love these girlfriend stamps because they usually have three or four ladies in them. And uh, it reminds me of my own close girlfriends. So I, I pick these up whenever I get a chance. I love this one. And it's just fun to do these cards and give them as, you know, pick-me-up cards. Say thank you for the leftovers you gave me at when we were at your house the other night for dinner or whatever. Um, it's just, just great little stamps. If you have a little sense of humor, you like art impressions. Um, but it is kind of a snarky sense of humor, so it's not for everybody, I understand. <laughs> So here we have another set. Oh, you know what? I should probably say what the name of this one was. Um, it's usually on the front. It says, uh, oof, girl, it just says girlfriends. Really? Hmm. It's number 4130. So if you go to their site and put in 4130, it will come up with this stamp set. But I don't know what they called it. You can tell this is a little older stamp set because they don't have the name right on it. They really use their numbers, so 4130 is what you search for. And also, I'm sure I'll put a link. There's going to be a link in my video description. It says a full color uh, list of products. And uh, if you click on that, it's going to take you to my Link Deli account, and it's going to show all these stamp sets um, so that you can find them easiest that way. All right, so the next one I did a card for, and again, this is really old packaging because they don't even have a picture of the finished card or any kind of illustration at all. <laughs> so this is quite old, I guess, and it's called His and Her Gardeners, and it's SC, I'm going to put off my glasses, SC0650. But uh, these two remind me of my grandparents. They were big gardeners, and they looked a lot like this. <laughs> <laughs> at least in my uh, child mind, right? My child memory. So this is the card that I made with it. This is um, kind of an old school looking card. I used just a an embossed background with a made with an embossing folder from Doris, and then colored up these these uh, people real simply. And I used a bunch of brads because this was my Islet Outlet card this morning. 
So I love this. Isn't that funny? That's a one of the mustache brads in that set. Then I've used a butterfly brad, a funky bee brad, and then here we have the garden tools uh, that I put in her pocket and also in her hand. And I just thought that was a lot of fun. It was, it was very simple, very simple coloring, uh, but I think it turned out really fun. I like kind of that old school look to it and it just seemed appropriate with these older stamps. But they were a lot of fun to color. So again, this one is called um, His and Her Gardeners. So if you know any gardeners, or you are yourself, this might be a fun one to uh, get in your collection. Next I have this fun one. It's Hot Java Mama. And we've got <laughs> coffee pouring down her throat, or tip tapping away on her chair. Decaf is for wimps, no talkie before coffee. Hi BFF, happy B day. By the way, you'll always be older than me. Send. <laughs> Um, I'll never be old. I'm too tired to climb over the hill. Thanks a latte and fill her up and Hot Java Mama, which is the name of the set. So Hot Java Mama AICS32. Cute, right? I love also these little uh, coffee beans that you can use in the background if you wanted. Um, sometimes they include little things like that that you can so that the beans and the this cup there with the straw or the stir stick whatever you want to call it they'd be great for backgrounds I think I'm gonna try that next one this is a great one for the guys Father's Day's around the corner I feel like this is 5044 born to ride set love this guy in the motorcycle is he not fabulous he's got gray hair but you could obviously make him younger with dark hair and <laughs> same with the lady um, there, you could color her up to look a little younger if you'd like. And then I love this mowing dude. He's just enjoying his mower, man. I mean, I don't know about you. I have some relatives with big yards back home in North Dakota, and they love their lawnmower. They get on that thing, and they have a very good time with it. Uh, it's just, they just love, you know, running around with it, making sharp turns and all of that. I'm like, okay, whatever, um, but they enjoy it. So there's some fun sentiments here too. Born to be wild, born to ride, so many toys, so little time. I love you, mower each day. That's so cute. And vroom, lawn ranger. It's not the years, it's the mileage. Wild thing. So the great card set for the guys. I know several people who use a motorcycle and I can imagine uh, birthday cards or just thank you cards or, or whatever thinking of you. It's it's a great little set for the guys. And it's hard to find those, right? All right, next I've got a couple watercolor stamp sets. Uh, I dabble in their watercolor just for fun. I'm not really that good at it, but I do uh, enjoy fiddling when I have, a, have free time, which is not a ton, but I do try <laughs> here and there. This one is great because they're containers, and I have several of their uh, foliage sets, so you can stamp the container and then stamp the foliage in it to get looks like this. Here they've used some pumpkins and things but I'm going to be doing flowers and what I love about their uh, stamps for this kind of thing is that you'll see how they leave openings around the rims so that your foliage doesn't get in the way or, or these buckets and containers don't get in the way of your foliage. I mean they think of everything when they make these um, they're good size and I think they would be fun on a card even just if it didn't make it this the focal point but put it in the corner right uh, maybe the milk can and a shorter um, a shorter container would be cute now this is a basket so maybe you know the basket could I guess be used for flowers but it might be better used for things that look like fruit or um, I don't know I guess you could use it for anything but I can see you know, you automatically think of baskets with, with uh, apples and things in it, and of course that's what they show. I don't know, you could probably use it for all kinds of different things. And then I thought this would be fun to have. Sometimes you do scenes and you'd like to put some people in it. These are just silhouettes of people and animals, dogs in particular, I guess. So some kids, some adults. Um, 
I thought it was a good thing to add to the collection. And this is called 5380 WC Silhouette Set. This one was called mm, WC Containers. I don't know what the number, oh, UM4111 is WC Containers. Now, also I should mention, if you go to the Facebook site or YouTube, you're going to find videos. Most weeks they put out two videos of making watercolor projects using their stamps and you'll see how easy it is and it's very inspirational. So if you haven't checked that out you might do so. You can make some beautiful looks without a lot of watercolor experience. They make it very easy to make you look like an expert. It's, it's amazing. So now I'm on to my cards for the week. And I've got some more stamp sets to show you with that too. So, in addition to all the stamp sets I've been working with uh, for the new release, which I unfortunately can't show you yet, because, um, yeah, they're coming out soon. They're going to start, I think, maybe uh, the 1st of, of April. We haven't gotten the exact schedule yet, but it's going to start happening. So we'll, we'll be having things come out for a couple months from April to like June 1st. So I'll be able to show you some things as the time progresses. Some really cute stuff. But I wanted to show you some of the things I made for the regular blog. So this is the first one. It's a cubby set. Now they have lots of cubbies in their line. And it's all the same thing where it's some kind of um, house or a vehicle that you can stamp, color, and then uh, use the dies that come with the set to open up places to put the other little characters that are in the set. So in this case it is like a school bus with all these little baby animals uh, or child animals and the sentiment I used says it's your birthday bus dash T so it's bust out all the stops and so um, I used some extra wide washi tape for the uh, for the road here. I think it's very effective. And I love how the door opens up and you can see the little <laughs> sitting giraffe there. I love it. So if you look at the set, um, they have, like here I put the giraffe in the door, they put the panda, they have the, the um, turtle driving, I put the little monkey. But one thing I want to point out about these is not only do you get, you know, the balloons, the cakes on the top, which by the way, they are a separate, they're a se the, the top is separate, so if you didn't want it to be a birthday occasion, you don't have to use that, and therefore you can make it more of a general type occasion. So you have options besides birthday, which is great. So let me see here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Should have thought of this before. <laughs> Alright. But one thing that I wanted to point out was not only does this top come as a separate stamp, so you don't have to make it a birthday bus, but then all these little characters are pretty complete and they have the whole bodies, not just their heads. Uh, the exception is the flamingo, which needs some legs that you can draw in. The giraffe is sitting, so it looks a little odd in some ways that way, but um, otherwise all the animals are complete. The turtle, the panda, the uh, elephant, the monkey. So there's a lot of um, options here is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, cute. I love this one. Next, we had a black and white challenge. So whenever I think of black and white, I think of pandas. This is one of my favorite sets. I've used this several times. And so I decided to go ahead and make um, the one with him in the cup. And I made this in grays and blacks. And these are little flowers. It looks almost like coffee beans, but they're actually little flowers. And they were from one of the watercolor foliage sets. So I stamped that on there to give it a little bit of pattern and a little more interest. You can see in their example they drew in stripes which is also very cute. Um, and then I just used a little bit of lavender on the edges of my um, 
stencil when I did this just to give it a tiny bit of color and then I've got a uh, dark purple half back pearls on here to decorate it up so I thought that turned out really cute again this is set 5113 panda tat panned tastic set it does not have any dies uh, but I just fussy cut that out it's not a big deal all right next and I guess last actually is this card now this was part of a hop that I did uh, it is the card hopping a year of fun techniques and themes once a month I try to participate in this and uh, we are just given a theme and then a technique and then we all the designers just go forth and make cards and videos and put that out there so this was the one that I did the technique was either using glitter or gilding flakes I you know being an overachiever did both <laughs> um, I figured if I had one mess I might as well have another so uh, <laughs> I have a video on how I made this but I used a stencil and double-sided adhesive to adhere these beautiful copper flakes on uh, using a stencil so that's how I got these stripes I think it turned out pretty shabby chic this beautiful blue flower wreath came from this art impression set and it is called floral invites it comes with this pretty cool uh, sort of circular shape here it has that wreath I use there's a spray a large spray a smaller spray and some single flowers and uh, you can use it for invitations or like I did here it was a thank you card and um, it has in it invitation sentiments like RSVP details thank you save the date and you're invited but of course you can use any sentiments and the thank you of course came with this particular set as well so isn't that very pretty and shiny I haven't used flakes in a while and I was reminded that I probably should use them a little more often for for little highlights and cards you know maybe not as much as I did here but adding just a little glimmer to the details I don't know I'm gonna try to keep that in mind I put the pot on my desk to try to help me remind me to use it you know how that is when you put stuff away you forget you have it and so then you never use it so that's the downside of trying to be organized but there you have it all my cards all my crafty purchases and um, I'll be back this coming Friday with another quick tips video. Uh, I was um, not able to get that done this week because I was behind on getting the Art Impressions um, design team cards done for the new release. But I will be back next Friday with that. So I hope you will tune in. Make sure when you uh, hit subscribe that you've clicked the bell icon because that makes sure that I'm notified of uh, your or that you're notified actually of my new video and that, that will help you remember to come see me if you've already subscribed just double check that you've got that bell chosen because otherwise you're not getting my notifications in all likelihood so uh, you'll want to do that and thank you again Cons maybe you'll consider participating with Sunday Craft Talk you're always welcome to and I hope that you do and uh, that's it for me so I'll see you soon and have a great great week take care everyone Bye.